The ls command, short for list, is used to list the contents of a directory. What's a directory, you ask? Put simply, a directory in Linux is a folder in which you store files. Note, if you'd like to know more about Linux directories, I've linked off to Fireship's video on the topic. Let's take a look at the ls command in action. Start by typing ls and press enter. The result returned is a list of files and directories in alphabetical order. By default, the ls command returns the contents of the current directory, but you're able to pass in the name of a different directory as well. For example, if I pass in another directory, for example, slash home, I'm now able to see the contents of the slash home directory. The ls command comes with some useful options flags, starting with the minus l flag. The minus l flag stands for long listing format and provides detailed information about each file and directory. To add the minus l flag on, type ls minus l and then press enter, with the resulting output then displaying permissions, number of links, owner, group size, modification date, and name of each item. Another useful option is minus a, which stands for all. This option shows all files, including add in ones. Note, hidden files in Linux start with a period. Let's run this command. As you can see, ls-a lists all files, including the hidden ones. You can also combine options. For example, ls-la combines both the minus l flag and the minus a flag. That's it for my introduction to the ls command in Linux. Let me know in the comments if there are any other Linux commands or topics you'd like me to cover. If you like the video, like the video. If you'd like to see more of me, press subscribe. Thanks for watching.